to access free topic sheets, worksheets, or to book an online class, visit ilearneasy.co.uk. In this video, we will learn how to use an apostrophe to show possession. An apostrophe can be used to show that something belongs to someone. For example, Jamie's dog is cute. The apostrophe followed by the letter S shows that the cute dog belongs to Jamie. There are several rules we need to learn when using an apostrophe to show possession. The rules depend on whether we're using a singular or a plural noun. Singular nouns refer to one person, place, thing or idea. Some singular nouns end in the letter S and some don't. Plural nouns refer to more than one person, place, thing or idea. Some plural nouns end in the letter S and some don't. Now let's go through the different rules. Singular nouns not ending in the letter S. The rule for singular nouns not ending in the letter S is to add an apostrophe followed by the letter S. For example, Sarah is a singular noun. It doesn't end in the letter S. When talking about something that belongs to Sarah, we must place an apostrophe followed by the letter S. For example, Sarah's skirt is purple. So the apostrophe S shows us that the purple skirt belongs to Sarah. Singular nouns ending in S. The rule for singular nouns ending in the letter S is to either add an apostrophe followed by the letter S or just an apostrophe. So it's your choice. Both are correct. For example, James is a singular noun that ends in the letter S. When talking about something that belongs to James, we can either show possession by adding apostrophe S or just an apostrophe, like this. James's glasses are blue. Plural nouns not ending in S. The rule for plural nouns not ending in S is to add an apostrophe followed by the letter S. For example, women is a plural noun that doesn't end in the letter S. When talking about something that belongs to the women, we must add an apostrophe followed by the letter S. For example, the women's toilets are on the first floor. So the apostrophe S indicates that the toilets belong to the women. Plural nouns ending in S. The rule for plural nouns ending in S is to just add an apostrophe. For example, parents is a plural noun ending in S. When talking about something that belongs to the parents, we must add just an apostrophe. For example, my parents' house is huge. Two or more people. When talking about two or more people, we must first figure out if they are joint owners of the same thing or they are separate owners. For example, here is Adam, here is Kelly. If we want to talk about something that belongs to them both, then the rule is to add an apostrophe followed by the letter S after the second name. This indicates that they are joint owners. For example, Kelly and Adam's dog is brown. If we want to talk about something that they are separate owners of, then the rule is to add an apostrophe followed by the letter S after each name. For example, Kelly's and Adam's dogs are brown.